you have to ask yourself, why would he review an old product he already reviewed? Sometimes you can teach an old dog new tricks and the iClever BK08 is one of them. Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, VLD. Let's get started. The iPad mini is my favorite always go-to device. I always like to complement it with a nice keyboard. The iClever BK05 is a fantastic keyboard, but it suffers from micro USB. They recently released a new version of it. Today's product is the BK08. It solves that problem. It was released about five or six years ago with micro USB. Right now, you can pick this up on Amazon for under $60. This is the new new version it comes in two colors you have gray and black inside the box you have the keyboard a very retro feeling carrying cloth with a logo on the front your typical instructions a kickstand to pull up whatever device a USB Type-C charging cable. Like I said, USB Type-C charging cable. iClever already has fantastic products. They work quite well. Their premium keyboards are the best around. All iClever had to do was add a new port. Their pre-existing products would be perfect. I think they finally watched one of my videos. Going forward into 2023, I hope the BK05 is the next one to receive USB Type-C. Unfortunately, with a new update to the keyboard, the BK. 08 is no longer backlit. You do get even better battery life. On a single charge, you get about 60 hours. There are always trade-offs with everything. This keyboard does not have pass-through, as in you can't just plug it in through a charging cable into your computer and use it that way. This will only work off Bluetooth. The BK08 comes in at 200 grams. The BK05 comes in at 280 grams. My iPhone 13 Pro Max comes in at 283 grams. The Avato keyboard comes in at 238 grams. Between the two keyboards with trackpad, the Avato is much bigger, but the BK08 weighs 38 grams less than the Avato. It just shows the premium aluminum gray material versus plastic in weight. This new keyboard has the same feel, the same everything. So if you're a fan of the iClever series of keyboards, you will not be disappointed, especially with this one. Unfortunately, it is kind of small comparing it to the other two, which are both full-size keyboards. This one might be a little bit cramped, rest assured. Whatever you choose, all three of these products are phenomenal. If you're like me, and if you have time to kill, I have been listening to Audible for years. I'm almost up to six months of listening time. X4 by Craig Allison is a fantastic series. Book 15, the final conclusion of the series, drops December 6th. If you are new to Audible, a limited time offer, only $5.95 a month for the first four months, or you could try Audible for free for 30 30 days. My link will be down below. I only have a couple weeks to catch up on the series until book 15, so have a good day. With having a premium product and premium material, the hinges of the iClever keyboards are the best. Just always opening them up is just so satisfying. The Avato hinges are just okay. The iClever keyboards are in a class of its own. You also get little tabs that raise the keyboard off the ground, a couple millimeters to make it more leveled with the whole layout. The company is the only one I know that does this. You also have physical buttons to connect up to three different devices over Bluetooth, although the only downside is the trackpad is kind of small. The trackpad gestures work just fine. You can click and drag, highlight and select text. Left and right clicks are nice and clicky. You can also scroll with two fingers. Gestures work well. It's not super jittery. Like some of the other ones I've reviewed, when you have pinch and zoom in the browser, it can be kind of off-putting. With the BK08, it is quite smooth. Unfortunately, that's it. You don't have three or four finger gestures switching between applications or taking a screenshot. You do have a shortcut to turn off the trackpad, which that is new, but they do give you that option if you need it. The Avado trackpad, on the other hand, is bigger and gives you more of a surface area for gestures and navigation. It has all the same gestures as the BK08, but because it's bigger, it's easier to execute them. You also have three finger multitasking, switching between applications, and four finger screenshots. The Avato one overall is bigger and some people may prefer to have a bigger keyboard. Unfortunately, that fake
fake leather material is kind of a turnoff, and some people might not prefer that to a metal build. Doing a typing test with a BK08, I'm averaging around 40 words a minute. I've done this test about five or six different times for each keyboard. With the BK05, I'm averaging out about 50 words per minute. With the Avada one, I'm getting about the same results. With the last two keyboards, with the BK05 and Avado, I'm getting about 50 plus words a minute. With the BK08, only about 40 words per minute. I am more accustomed to using just the bigger ones overall. At the end of the day, between the two keyboards with trackpads, I do prefer the Avado one. It's less than half the price of the BK08, sitting under about $30 compared to $60. It has a bigger trackpad. Build quality is kind of lacking, but nothing will ever compare to the iClever keyboards. Granted, the BK08 is more expensive, but it does offer USB Type-C. The build material can't even compete with plastic. It's more pleasant to hold and use. The hinges are satisfying. The keys are a little bit more firm and better to type on, even though it is a little bit smaller, but some people prefer a smaller keyboard. With it being a little bit smaller, I'm not as fast. At the end of the day, you can choose what features you want with a foldable keyboard. Some people prefer bigger and cheaper. Some people prefer smaller and better build quality. Like always, I'm your host, VLD. Smash that bell and subscribe. Peace.